guys welcome back to awesome awesome diy so just got one of those aha moments where i was thinking you know what i'm gonna knock out this project real quick and i thought ah what the hell why not record it right so um this is kind of a quick little easier one i've been doing a lot of projects for my little man um just because he's getting bigger and it's just kind of cool to have a son and just you know do some cool stuff for him so um we are in the garage right now as always and kind of behind me is where you can see the project uh so let me uh flip the camera around and just kind of go through real quick what we're gonna do and then we'll start jumping into it cool all right guys let's check it out so this is what we have right here it is one of those little tykes uh toddler beds um i don't think this one actually this one might have the ability to expand um but i don't know uh obviously i didn't get that piece uh, I got this for like 10 bucks. Um, you can find a bunch of these on like offer up and whatever. Um, but it did take a little while. There's a lot of people that posted and then I hit them up and they never hit me back. So um, this guy was on it. As soon as I hit him up, he hit me right back. We just try to find some time, you know, try to beat the weather and uh, we hooked up. So I think there's even a piece that's supposed to go in the middle to kind of support the toddler bed, but I got plywood. I'm just going to slap it inside. You can't see it anyways. But as you can tell, it's in pretty rough shape, right? You can barely even tell. Logo's pretty messed up. You can see all the scuffs in it. You know, it's definitely been used. Um, but it looks cool. It's a good uh, starting point. I actually thought this thing actually had something where you can flip this up for storage, but it might have been a different one. So anyways, real basic one. Um, just going to attempt to bring it back from the grave, I guess, because it's like something that someone pretty much will close to the point where they would just throw it out. And I figure, what the heck, you know, my son's going to be, you know, only little for so long. So, you know, why go spend three, four hundred bucks when, you know, he's just going to use and abuse this thing and give it one more last life before maybe we do send it off to the <laughs> the garbage pile, I guess. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, just going to I'm probably not even going to sand it down because it's already pretty rough just sitting out in the elements and, you know, using plastic that's smooth. You just want to kind of rough it up a little bit. But I'm in the, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, I don't want to say market, but I'm in the uh, mode lately, I guess. That's a better way to say it, to get things done as quick as possible. Because like I said, I got two kids now and sometimes I can't spend hours out here, you know. Um, I literally got to be listening to hear if my little man wakes up because as you can tell, it's nighttime. So I'm trying to do this, uh, you know, while he's sleeping. Um, but yeah, I'm not even going to rough it up. I got some primer I'm going to put on here. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these, this section up the, just the tires. I'm going to actually leave the wheels open. Um, I'm going to, you know, like if any of these little pieces are kind of like coming off, like right here in the front, I'm going to take them off, you know, probably utilize the, uh, the cricket and make like a little custom logo or something here for them down the road. Uh, but I am planning on reprinting, uh, repainting these rims. I got some like chrome and I don't even think I'm going to use the chrome one, but I think I'm going to use like a, you know, like a silver paint or something like that. I have uh, engine enamel paint or something. Uh, but anyways, we'll, so we'll, we'll tape up the tires. We'll redo the rims and then uh, we'll repaint this. We're going to keep it blue. We're just not going to do this kind of blue. We got like a dark metallic blue. Um, here, I'll show you guys right now what we got. So we're going to use some of this Rust-Oleum metallic um and you know as you can tell i got tons and tons of paint i can choose from for the rims you know like that's pretty cool but i don't think i'm gonna do the rims like that i think i'm gonna do the rims like uh maybe like in that kind of like silver oh here it is right there that's probably what we're gonna use right there that little vht enamel um that will look pretty cool won't be like you know too in your face but it'll kind of make it look like a rim instead of just kind of white and leaving it dull um so yeah so We'll primer everything. Well, first we'll tape, then we'll primer everything, um, and then we'll do the body, and then we'll uh, do the rims. I'll actually probably do the rims first, in case I get any overspray on here, I can cover it up with the other paint, because um, it probably won't hit this, but this will probably hit it if I'm trying to hit it in here. It might kind of overspray a little bit. So we'll tape everything up, do the rims first, and then we'll do the body, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Cool? All right, guys, let's jump into it.
so we're all taped off on the wheels uh it's kind of hard on the spokes i didn't go like super crazy deep dive on them um it's just you know my son's bed uh especially on this side because the side's gonna be like against the wall so you're probably not gonna see plus you have to really really get close the biggest portion obviously is the car bed, bed itself the body um i took off the front emblem because it was already falling off and like i said i'm just gonna end up you know hopping on my cricket or something like that and just making them a little custom logo right here like little major or little man or, or i don't know or just put major who knows we'll figure something out um so yeah next step is i'm just gonna take the prep spray just to clean it off because like you see here there's like dirt and stuff like that i should have just hosed it off but take the prep spray spray it all down uh, and then we'll start shooting the primer and put like three coats of that um i learned from the pedal car that i'm just not gonna go crazy on the the, the primer because when i did it the pedal car i learned that like i had like three coats on there and it was like pretty clean then when i started doing like four or five coats i started like getting running um like i was just spraying too heavy and i was just starting to get runs and i was like does it really matter you know he has to like plow into something to start you know making the paint chip off so i was like why even go that crazy so we're just gonna do three coats of primer three coats of the metallic flake paint um and then we'll do three coats of the clear coat and then we'll call it a day cool so let's start prepping it and then we'll start spraying all right guys let's jump into it finished product here we already hooked him up his mattress and it came out pretty cool i mean i don't know metallic is kind of hard i mean you can't really see it because it's a little bit darker out right now but i just got his uh front car emblem so that's why i'm doing this video right now just to kind of do the wrap up but it's not too bad it took like about three or four coats um as soon as i put it outside to bring it in the uh one of our dogs knocked it over so i had to redo it but I don't know, same came out pretty good, I guess. I also added a little something extra right here. I put these on uh, the hubcaps, just cause I've had these sitting around. I figured, you know what? Miles will put them to good use. And then like, remember that we had a little, little tyke symbol right here. I didn't measure it out good enough. I wanted it to cover the whole thing. 
Uh, but I got, I guess you could say I got kind of lazy or I just didn't want to bother it with tick, I mean, uh, with the cricket. So I, uh, just went and purchased this on Amazon. I mean, at least it fits the kind of, the, uh, the same kind of style with the, the skeleton hands and everything like that. I kind of want to make it match and something different so you can't just go pick up an AutoZone or something, but I don't know. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a kid's bed. Gave this a uh, little bed a second life because like I said, it was pretty tore back and now it's a little more customized for my little son. And I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool. It definitely fits his room. It's definitely a, a cool boys addition, but you know, like I said, at night doesn't look too bad. Maybe during the day you might like see a little bit of like, not spotting, but it just doesn't have that clean, even flow. But that is kind of the tough gig when you're doing metallic paint. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Looks really cool. Didn't take more than a day or two. Um, and my son loves it and you know, definitely fits his room a little bit better and we don't have to worry about him crawling out of the crib and falling really far. This thing's pretty low to the ground. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys like it. Maybe it gives you guys a little bit of inspiration. Um, like I said, it's not one of my best work, I think, but I think it was just something kind of cool to record and show you guys like, Hey, get out there, grab something that maybe needs a, you know, a second life. It's always nice to buy something brand new, uh, because it just looks newer. Right. But these things are like, can be like 300 bucks for a bed. Um, and this was 10 bucks and then I probably spent like 20 bucks on, you know, some paint and that was it. And, you know, I already had these, but these are like probably like 15, 20 bucks and the emblem in the front was like 10 bucks. So not, not more than like 50 bucks in the hole. And this bed looked kind of cool. It's something different, you know, with the little tykes, there's a red and a blue and you see those all over the place. This is blue, but a totally different kind of blue. So I don't know, thought it was kind of cool. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.